If your emails are landing in spam, this is literally the only video you need to watch. I'm gonna show you the main reasons that your email marketing emails are landing in your reader's spam boxes and how to fix them. My name's Gavin, I run an email and SMS marketing agency, and this is literally all I do, email and SMS marketing. Now, I'm gonna jump into an account and show you exactly some examples of what could potentially be leading to high spam complaint rates. Let me show you, take a look at this. So this is how you actually check if the deliverability is bad. Uh, within your account and how to get out of the spam box. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Klaviyo, you're gonna go on the left-hand side and you're gonna click Deliverability, which should open up this tab here. Now, as you can see, this is one of our clients, so obviously deliverability is great, but the first thing you're gonna look at is what metric is hurting. If it's bounce rates, unsubscribe rates, or spam complaint rates. Now, these ones are all great, right? We've taken a really good job, taken really good care of this, but let's diagnose each one of these problems. Let's assume that your bounce rates are higher than what they should be, right? So over 1%. That means that people are giving you bad emails or that wherever you're getting your leads from is bad or you've imported a list of people who wasn't cleaned, right? Meaning they had dummy emails in that list. I'll show you how to clean a list separately, but what you're gonna do, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your flows and you're gonna prevent anybody who's bounced from being within those flows. So you're gonna go, we're just gonna work in these first three flows here but you're gonna add the following filter. You're gonna to go to the top of the flow, the trigger, okay? And you're gonna edit, and you're gonna click this condition here. Limit the trigger to only certain profiles. You're gonna go and what somebody has or has not done, bounced email zero times in the last 30 days. You're gonna add that filter to every single one of the flows, meaning if they bounce, they're gonna be removed from the flow, okay? Then what you're also gonna do for your campaigns, when you're sending campaigns, you're gonna go campaigns. Notice how we're targeting these segments here. We're gonna create a segment of people who have bounced. You're gonna create new segment. You're gonna go IB, I'm just gonna call this bounced. What somebody has or has not done bounced email at least once in the last 30 days. Note this gives us 59 people. You're gonna create that segment. Then in all of the campaigns that you send, you're gonna exclude that segment from the campaigns. So when you click create campaign, okay, and you go here, and you're gonna to send to, okay, say all, you're gonna click the don't send to, bounce. That's gonna exclude anybody who has bounced from getting any of your campaigns. Really important you do that. That's gonna help mitigate the bounce rate of your flows. Now going forward, if you're importing contacts into your list, right, or into your account, you wanna do the following. You wanna to go to email verifier. Okay, sorry, pardon me, email verify.io. And you're gonna validate the list. So you're gonna update this list rather upload the list to the software here and validate the list, clean it, making sure that it removes everybody who bounces, removes spam traps, and that's gonna ensure that when you do import that list into your Klaviyo account, your list is clean and you don't have any bounces coming in there. The next thing you're gonna do is you have to think about reputation or, or your email domain as having a reputation. The reputation of your domain is influenced by how people engage with your emails. So if you have good open rates, good click rates, that's gonna tell Gmail, for example, if I engage with your email, it's gonna tell Gmail that I'm a good, or that you are a good email sender, and it's gonna tell everybody else who has a Gmail account that you're a good email sender as well. It's gonna to say to everyone who has a Gmail account that your reputation is good meaning you're more likely to end up in the primary folder. So what you wanna do when you start is you only wanna send emails to people who are engaged, people who are engaging with your emails, as that gets good open rates and good click rates, which tells Gmail to take you out of the spam folder and into the primary folder. So the thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a segment of people, okay, that comprises of engaged people. So you're gonna go here, segment. If you're landing in spam, this is the segment I recommend creating. It's called IB, well, I call it IB because that's the name of my company, engaged 30 days, okay? It's gonna be if someone can receive email marketing and what somebody has done 
subscribe to list at least once in the last 30 days or what somebody has done, opened email at least once in the last 30 days or what somebody has done, clicked email in the last 30 days at least once in the last 30 days or what somebody has done, placed order in the last 30 days. This is going to be your most engaged segment of people. These are people who can receive email marketing, who've subscribed or opened or clicked or placed an order in the last 30 days. These are the people who you are going to get the most engagement from. If your deliverability is bad, meaning you have high unsubscribe, meaning you're in the spam folder, only target this list of people. Only target this list of people to build up your reputation. Then when you're consistently getting better deliverability, which you can see by clicking deliverability, we're going to create this segment really quickly. You can see by clicking deliverability, once this metric starts climbing, right? Like we're almost at 100, but once you get closer, you're probably, if you're leaning in spam in the 20s, once you get up to 40, 50, 60 even, then you can expand that definition. You can expand it to 60 days and then 90 days because your goodwill, your reputation has improved and so you can afford to be more broad with who you're targeting. That's how you affect deliverability from a campaign perspective. Really important that you do that. Now you can look at the other metrics here too. Unsubscribe rate. If you have a very high unsubscribe rate, once again, only target the engaged segments, but then also ask yourself, why are people unsubscribing so much? Odds are it's because they didn't um, opt in in a healthy way in the first place. More often than not, the highest unsubscribe rates I see within Clavio is from people who are importing contacts into their list. Another really easy way, same with spam complaint rates, the same thing. Unsubscribe is not actually a massive issue. It's spam complaint rate that's the big issue that you want to watch out for. And it's really going to come down to where the list is coming from. Because more often than not, if people are opting into email marketing, they're not going to market a spam when they get an email. Another thing you can do to help improve your deliverability if it is in a really, really bad place, okay, so you're getting high unsubscribe rates, high spam complaint rates, is go into your list and segments and find the list that people subscribe to on your sign-up form, okay? And turn on, watch this. Click the list, it should bring you into this interface here. Click settings and turn on double opt-in. Meaning somebody has to confirm twice that they wanna receive email marketing from you. It's gonna lower your overall list growth because people are having to confirm twice to get emails from you, but it is gonna improve your overall deliverability because you are getting people who are much more proactive in terms of saying, Yep, we want to receive emails. That's what single opt-in is. Single opt-in is subscribe, no confirmation. Double opt-in is, hey, confirm after they subscribe, they get an email that says, hey, confirm that you want to be part of our email marketing. Turn that on at least temporarily to help get more engaged people into your database. The next thing you can do to help improve your deliverability and get out of the spam folder is go into your flows in your welcome series. Go into the welcome series, okay? And make sure the first email in your welcome series is a plain text email, meaning no creative. You can do that by clicking the email, clicking here, clicking select template or create text. So go template and click these three dots and click create text only email. A text only email is an email that looks like it's coming directly from one person to another, right? It's written like, hey John, it's Gavin, just checking in to see if everything's going. Create a plain text email. Those emails get a lot better cut through because they're seeming to be a lot more human, there's no images in them, they tend to get better engagement. So turn your first email into a plain text email, that's gonna improve your deliverability and your engagement, which is gonna improve your reputation. The next thing you can do to also improve the deliverability of your emails is the following. Go into your flows, find your post-purchase confirmation emails, meaning the emails that are sent after somebody places an order, and apply for transactional status. So this email here is triggered off of somebody having their order being shipped, meaning it's a shipping notification email. Click the email here, and can you see this little icon here? This is showing up because it's a transactional email, which tells Clavio that it's an email that's related to an important decision the customer has made, which means it's gonna get treated with higher priority in the inbox. Let me show you what I mean. If I go into my inbox here, right, I have a few folders. I have primary, promotions, social, and updates. Promotions are where most of the emails for your email marketing are gonna land. Updates are where those important account notification emails are gonna go. These get treated with higher priority in the inbox, meaning they get higher engagement. 
Personally, as a user, I always check these because they have important account notification things that I should always be checking. Okay, so go into Clavio, go into the email, close these tabs here, click the email that you want to be applied for transactional. Note it has to be a transactional email, an email that relates to the order that the person's done or an account update, and it can't have any sales material in it. Notice this email doesn't have any sales emails, it's just telling them about their order being shipped. Scroll down, and you see this box here? You have to tick apply for transactional status, and it'll send that to Clavio to review and then give it transactional status. Note, you won't be able to apply for transactional status of emails that have an A-B test running. So make sure the email doesn't have an A-B test running when you apply for transactional. That's really, really gonna help your overall deliverability. Now also, just to double back when we're talking about those campaigns where we're sending emails to our most engaged segments, I also recommend doing plain text emails for them too. One other thing you can do on the sign-up form, typically I don't love doing this, but in the sign-up form you can say, hey, please check your email for your coupon code. That does lower your on-site conversion rates, but it does improve the overall email deliverability because you're forcing people to leave your website, which isn't great because they're leaving your website, but they are engaging with an email that you send them in the welcome series, that plain text email that I recommended earlier, to open and engage with the email, which is gonna improve the deliverability. It does lower on-site conversion rates because you're forcing somebody off your website to get distracted, to interact with an email, but it does force the interaction, which can help your overall email marketing deliverability. Those are the ways that I recommend you, or things that I recommend you implement to get out of the spam folder within Clavio. If you follow those, follow them strictly and properly, you will be removed from the spam folder, guaranteed. You just need to make sure you stick at it, make sure you're only targeting your engaged readers and implement those checks and balances that I recommended. If you like this video, fantastic, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe to the channel, check out the newsletter in the description below. I release a bunch of free information like this all the time. This is all I do, email and SMS marketing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.